Hi, I'm Janice Barnholz Province, and I'm going to talk about using the ECG as your crystal ball to recognize Wellen syndrome and save a life. In the United States, sudden cardiac death is the leading cause of death. That means it kills a thousand people per day or one person every two minutes. Here's a patient who presented to the ED, chest pain free, but had a history of chest pain. His troponins were drawn and those were also negative. Blowing up V1 through V6, is there anything there that predicts this patient's sudden cardiac death? Hein Wellens and colleagues actually first described these ECG changes in 1982 and noted the pattern of T wave abnormalities in the anterior leads V1 through V3 and sometimes V4. And what they found is that the patients who had these ECG changes, the flip T waves, had a high risk of sudden death due to occlusion of the proximal LAD or left anterior descending artery. So what they found is that 75% of the patients with these EKG changes ended up having death from an anterior wall MI or proximal occlusion of the LAD or left coronary artery. And when they looked at the coronary arteries of these patients with the T wave changes, what they found is that these patients had anywhere from 50 to 100% occlusion of their LADs. And when cardiac enzymes were drawn on these patients, what they found is that they typically didn't have any change in their cardiac enzymes or maybe they just had a little bit of a bump. And most concerning is that when these patients were medically managed, they usually died within a few weeks of them presenting with that EKG change. Yikes. How do we recognize Wellen syndrome? So looking at V2 and V3 above, you see the classic type 1 Wellens, which is in 75% of the cases, there's a deep symmetric inverted T wave. And then there is another form of Wellens, which is type 2, which is a biphasic T wave. And that is in 25% of the cases. So biphasic meaning that the T wave goes up above the isoelectric line and then drops down below the isoelectric line. So the T wave changes in Wellens are not your typical non-specific T wave changes that you may see written across the top of your 12 lady CG. So I like to think of these as um, wells. How do you create a well? You pinch and pull the T wave down and then it can fill up with water. So in both type one and type two, mm -hmm. pinch and pull the T wave down, make a well, fill it up with water. So here's a 12 lead EKG. I've put what the normal T waves look like in V1 through V6. I've also blown up V1 through V6. So when you look at the V1 on the blown up version and the V1 in the pink up top, you see that there's not much difference in the T waves. And then in V2, in the blown up version, you notice that when you compare it to the pink uh, T wave in V2 up top, it's definitely flipped. And then in V3, if you look at that, there you go, that's a little bit more biphasic. It goes up then down when compared. And then what do you notice in V4 and V5? So in V2, you definitely got the type 1 Wellens. And then in V3, V4, and V5, you noticed a biphasic T wave, which is the type 2. Good job. Here's another example. So we've got normal across the top. I've blown up V1 through V6 for you. And what do you see? Do you see any wells? That's right. In V2, you've got a little well. So a little bit of a biphasic T wave going. It's starting to get pinched and pulled down as well as in V3 and in V4. And then a little bit in V5 as well. So that's the biphasic type 2. Good job. How are we going to recognize patients with Wellen syndrome again? They're the patients who have a history of chest pain, but they have no indication that they're having a current MI or they have an old MI. So we're looking for the biphasic and or inverted T waves in the anterior leads. 
We're back to our 53 year old patient who was having no chest pain but did have a history of chest pain and his troponins were negative. What do you see when we blow up his anterior leads here? Excellent. So we've got the pinched and pulled T waves in V2 and V3 and V4 and V5 and they all hold water just like a well. Here's this patient's ECG four years prior. I've blown up V1 through V6. Are there any changes? Let's compare. So comparing his new to his old, on the left in V2 you see that he has the biphasic T wave. In V3 he has a flip T wave as well as in V4 and V5. This guy ended up having a 90% occlusion of his LAD. So what's the treatment when we have a patient with uh, Wellen syndrome? It's get them to the cath lab, look at their coronary arteries, and open them up. Avoid stress testing. It can kill them. When you look into your crystal ball, are you able to predict this patient's sudden cardiac death? That's right. You see the wells in V2, V3, V4. They're pinched and pulled. And how about this crystal ball? Are you able to predict the future with this ECG? Again, you see the wells in V2, V3, and V4. Good job. This is Wellens type 2. Now you can recognize Wellens syndrome and save a life.